Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back to my channel, guys. How are you all doing? <laughs> Happy new month, guys. Happy new month. In today's video, um, we're going to be making. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> In today's video guys, I'm going to be making a mail briefcase or let's say a mail bag for guys, okay? Um, to me, looking at the bag, I feel um, it's um, unisex, yeah? Like a female can also carry this bag, but it's um, a mail bag though. So I'm making the black of this right now, so I want to make a... Um, um, what should I say? What should I say? I just want to make this video so you guys can see how I achieve this blue bag. I'm not supposed to, to you know, understand to make a video today or a video on this particular bag, but I just, you know, I just want to post this so you guys can see. You guys are my sweethearts. Like, thanks. In fact, guys, I'm seeing a lot of subscribers. Like, thanks so much for the love. Like, I'm honored. <laughs> really i am honored like thank you so much god will bless you all thank you so let's get back to business so this is the blue bag i made guys come on check this out now clap let me wait for a few minutes for you to clap for me i'm waiting ah, thank you aha uh -huh. look at the side guys come on now guys you know I'm trying to put things inside so we can you no know, push out all the sides out for me because <laughs> sewing with this machine was a little bit difficult because it's kind of thick. You understand? It's very very thick, guys. So sewing, I think the best um, machine to use is the post bed machine. So by using this, you no, know, this machine to sew. Oh my God, guys, it wasn't easy. Like it was literally pushing. I was literally, you know, pushing while sewing. It wasn't easy for me. But I thank God it came out well. Can you see the stitch? Very straight. The stitch line, as you can see. Very, very straight. So this is um the lock. You can see? Oh you can see the inner part. I wanted to use um the blue material for also the lining but because I wasn't having edge coats because if I should fold it the way I fold um, the main body it's gonna be extremely very thick like in fact I shouldn't even talk about it so you get so that was why I went ahead to use this normal lining as you can see yeah so this is the side second side the flap the inner part this is the leather inside just you know like i said just box out all these parts just to make it straight before i deliver it you can see guys i so much love this lock oh i in fact i will show you a series of lock i purchased like beautiful locks they are very very beautiful guys so we are going to be making the same exact thing on this it also have a body strap where you can connect it from here. I did not put anything here, so we'll connect it from this place because I don't have enough D rings because I need to use the second and not the um, the second D rings on this black leather. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm no. I'm just saying nonsense today. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm tired because I've been sewing a lot of bags, guys. Like I've not really um, slept for almost. A week now like I've been sleeping like an hour 30 minutes like it has not been easy but we thank God you know for the gift of life for others coming in uh, thanks so much and um, before I continue I want to quickly explain the measurements I used in case you guys want to use the same um, the same measurements <clears throat> so my width is 11 and a half yeah okay 
my weight is 11 and a half i used my ruler to measure actually but using the tape roll using this tape roll my weight is 12 as you can see Twelve. Why my length is ten? I'm gonna remove my hand. Yeah. So my length is twelve. My um, the width twelve. Why my length is ten? That's the measurement for the flap to the main body is um 19 okay 19 by 12 same thing you can see same thing the flap there's the front panel and that's the flap and this will be the lock that will join to the flap as you can see so guys i don't know what's wrong with me i'm not in a talking mood so you bear with me <laughs> you bear with me so i will just quickly start sewing you know just watch mm? if you have any question you can just put it down in the comment section i will reply you definitely reply you like i always reply to all comments there okay i always reply to all comments so just free free ask whatever questions you want i will definitely reply to all the questions as soon as i get them and um, there was a lady that was asking yesterday how i cut my um leather in terms of mass production um i don't i don't have work for now for me to use a bigger leather to explain how i cut my materials but what i can do for you is just to explain how i normally do it let's assume this is my um, I'm using to the sew. materials. This is what you are now. This a leather I'm using to sew. I want to cut. Let's assume I want to cut all my um. Let's say a souvenir bag for you no know, this normal wedding souvenir bag. I've posted like two videos on that. Let's assume I want to cut that, and I want to take my measurement. Like my width should be six, and my length will be eight. For an example, okay, I'm not saying it's gonna that's the measurement I'm using right now, it's very small. So except they want something like that. So I'm only saying it in general, like you want to cut for the mass production now. I'm not speaking for others, I'm speaking for myself, how it has been easy for me, okay? So you just measure, let me take four, okay? You take four, you make your you take a chalk, you mark down, okay? You take four again down to the extreme what i mean the extreme to where the leather stops okay you mark your four again then you come back down and you mark your seven this way you mark your seven again you mark your seven you do it all around the leather you you want to use to sew that exact bag then what you do you take your 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 ruler then you mark on that part because you know when you make a straight line you measure your four your four your four that's the width and you come back to take the seven the seven the seven to the extreme end to where the letter stops and what you do is you take your ruler you make a line you know the same line is gonna be the same line you have here is gonna be the same thing you have here means you measure seven you measure seven you measure seven they are the same they are the same exact line so you take your ruler and you draw a line down you draw you draw to the extreme end the same thing then you just take the scissors and cut accordingly that's it no stress like it's so easy to do to cut that same way okay that's the way i do mine i don't know about uh, other people that mix bags i don't know how they cut but that's the way it has been easy for me that's the way i cut my own understand um, later the one so I'm about, i hope okay? i've answered thank you so much so let's get right back into business guys let's so <laughs> i'm super excited guys i'm tired at the same time i'm happy talking to you guys merry christmas Woo! i love christmas i said it before <laughs> So guys, this is the handle of my bag, okay? Uh, my Let me sh measure the handle. I have, um, okay, 12. I have 12. 
then the 12th length then my width is um one and a half one and a half that's my width for the handle so you know you have to keep space you fold it in you make a top stitch two lines one here and one here as you can see so i'm just putting this d ring here i'm doing a different handle you can see the blue bag i showed you the handle is quite different from this okay so i'll be making this i'll be sewing this one this way so the border strap you just hang it on this part i don't want to put anything at the side because the leather is not enough but guys the best way to make a body strap is to put it at the side because if you put it at the top where the handle is you fact, a lot of weights you fasten the um all the weights on the back goes here and hmm, that's why i'm making a star um sewing here my stitch line here is star why my stitch line here is is not i just make it's this kind of stitch line as you can see and just a rivet and even the rivet is not connecting down and so i'm scared of this stitch line also i'm really really scared i don't know if i can still fix the rivet i'll just put it here just to you know to give the bag some life that's why i'm correcting my mistake on the other one on this okay so i will make the stitch line here um i won't be putting any rivet on this because i am 100 percent sure of my stitch on this particular lady I'm seeing right now I'm sure of my stitch line here so I'll be doing the same exact thing I did here to the same part here okay so I'll make the stitch right now and um, also guys um, let me ex quickly explain my side why I'm actually making this video is because the Ankara bag which I post wait I think last month i don't think last month here yeah, i think early last month or last two months ago i posted an ankara bag i've not posted the part two of that my dear i tried to check um the what they call it um the video i think i lost it okay i couldn't find the video that's why i'm actually making this video because it's the, the side it's similar to that of the ankara bag so you can use this as a part two of the Ankara bag, the side, okay. So the the side, yeah, I'm having um. Let's see. I'm having ten by four. Ten by four. This is the bottom part, okay. I'm having um four. 4 by 11 so let's show guys let me measure this let me see. yeah you just remove one inch that's how i got the 11 okay so this is the size i have died i just spray this but that's what let me explain something real quick guys you can see in this particular bottom I did not fold it i just you know put the edge out and i cut it out because the way i suffered why so in that bag <laughs> if i tell you the story of that bag you pity my life guys i'm not joking like you actually pity me like i was literally forcing my two shoulders were off <laughs> and i was pushing 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 hey. while sewing Guys, why I'm using my scissors is because I'm lining up the lining. I want it to be. I want it to be straight as possible. That's why I'm doing that.
guys do you like my smile <laughs> you know when you sew something and it comes out in a perfect way not good way perfect just smile as you can see look at my stitch it's very straight very So, yeah. so guys i'll go ahead to clip this down because the other bag i sew from the front but this i want to sew from the back i mean i want to start from the back first then i will join it from the front i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say Guys, I'm almost literally pouring all the old oil into it. If not, it's gonna tear the lighter because it's too thick. So that's the best way if you want to secure. Can you see? I can't even lift it up. It's too thick, too 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 thick for my liking. By the grace of God, I'm going to purchase the other um, machine soon. <clears throat> I will do that soon. Hey guys, yeah. good morning. Guys, say, I hope you all had a restful night. I was unable to finish the bag I was making yesterday. Um. I went to cook and after cook, after eating I was tired I was drained I just went to sleep so I like I said yesterday I have to deliver the bag today so I have to quickly sew the bag guys my eyes is spinning I don't know why so well I've pinned all the parts as you can see I sewed this part yesterday night okay the front panel so I've been all this part just to show I am 
correct as you can see i love the outcome like i think i love this one more than the you know guys look at it isn't it lovely <laughs> guys look oh it's just cute let me show you the blue I don't know most of you will say oh the blue all the way but to me black if you discover the the width of this this is wider than this okay wider but the length this is the length are the same but this the width sorry what am i saying the length of this is smaller the length of this is um i think I said it in the other part i think 10 and a half or so why this is 11 just one inch um difference so i purposely made this white in case they're having it you know i told you it's for this is for my dad actually and this is for my dad's friend it's a he's a pastor okay you know you need to do something for pastors so they'll pray and destroy all the demons <laughs> So I, I don't know which who my dad is gonna give this but I just think it's my dad will be so black, okay? And all the things that I don't really know, but that's his choice. So as you can see, cute, cute. So I have to deliver this bag today, okay? Because the person has to collect it. So look at the um the back the width wider the length equal same length i think okay the length of this is a little bit uh you know how can i make this easy to see uh -huh. this is longer this is smaller the width of this is wider than this okay we shouldn't talk much guys i just pray my stitch line comes out like the front because this is gonna be difficult i would not even lie but i just pray it's not i wish it's not so the, the lock is gonna come here i made a mistake fixing the other lock like i made it so close no not so close like it's a little bit like half an inch but this i'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you can close properly okay so let's stitch guys let's stitch like my oil now look at the length of this oil before i start sewing it might be probably it's gonna come to this i don't know it's gonna come down here i don't know <laughs> maybe but you know we have to so guys look at those bags there i'm yet to deliver them but the deadline is 8th of december so it's gonna go out soon i just want to use this opportunity to rest before i start running around to deliver those bags so let's sew these bags together guys it seems i'm talking too much this morning and signs of hunger i'm hungry oh guys let's oil the bag from the back so we are not going to have any problem whatsoever you don't need to oil don't mind don't worry about where you clip down while sewing the oil is going to transfer to that part and while sewing you make sure you push your lining in so your lining won't be poking out okay okay Guys, your girl is good. 
This your girl. She is good. That was what happened to the other parts because of too much squeezing. Bent. But never mind. What I put inside this, we just remove it and put here. I said I told you it was leather. So let's see how this one is gonna stay. You can see, you can see, perfect. <laughs> I think my, <laughs> I don't know, whoever thinks this is lucky because this is more prettier, more professional than that other one. Because that other one, the difference is that blue leather. It's thicker than this a little bit, but the same design, you know, the pattern, they are the same, but it's thick a little bit than the black. The black is quite flexible. That was what I used to make those children bags, as you can see at my back. So the blue is a little bit thicker. That's why I was having a little bit difficulties in sewing, having a lot of difficulty in sewing. So this is it. So the next thing is to off my sweet machine and come here and find a way to, you know, fix my lock. Right, as you can see, I have my puncher. Mm. Everything complete with my armor. Ah. So what are we going to do? We're going to take our lock. Lock. Can you see? Yeah. So let's close it down. Oh, guys, I'm so happy. This is beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. Am I not going to keep it for myself? Stop thinking. Okay. So guys, what I normally do is I normally take this, okay, just to get the right place to make a punch. I, you know, place my chalk. Make sure your chalk goes in. So when it stamps, the mark comes out, you know, you have to punch. Just like this. Then you keep it aside. First get to your place okay this is it don't worry don't worry nothing goes wrong nothing is wrong nothing will go wrong okay am i there You press it down now you just press it down okay press 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 you unlock I have my mark I have my mark where is my biro there's my pen I need to quickly okay 
Let me do it this way. Slow and steady. Can you see what I'm doing? Just like that. Then you put your punch. One. Like that. I think this is the second place. So help me God. <laughs> Guys, you are saying I'm a drama queen, right? I don't care. I'm just happy. Okay guys, guys this is the O, so you just put your, put it past the O, you make a turn, You just have to screw open with the right screw okay you put the washer down Put your first screw in.
guys. As you can see, this is a male office bag or a pastor bag. You can put your Bible, your big Bible in it, and it will obey and go in. I hope you. Ah, uh, let me bring the second one. Um, because nothing is inside, it's it's difficult to lock. Okay, perfect, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video.